Good day, saints of God. Sister Paula Adams here with the Berean Prayer Team Ministry located at 4555 Fairfields Avenue in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where our leader in the prayer ministry is Elder Manushka Gracia de Gaj, and our pastor is Pastor T. Ron Wegar. We are on day 14 of our 22 days of prayer and fasting. And our scriptures for today are Acts chapter 4, verses 32 through 35, John chapter 21, 15 through 17, Psalms chapter 34, verses 4 through 7, verse 15 and verse 17 through 19. And I will be reading the latter scripture for today's concentration from the Amplified Bible. The Bible reads in verse 4, I sought the Lord on the authority of his word, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant. Their faces will never blush in shame or confusion. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him from all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him with awe-inspired reverence and worship him with obedience. And he rescues each of them. Verse 15, the eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, those with moral courage and spiritual integrity. And his ears are open to their cry. When the righteous cry, the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit, those who, have a who are contrite in heart and truly sorry for their sin. In verse 19, many hardships and perplexing circumstances confront the righteous but the lord rescues him from them all this is a beautiful verse because i'm a living witness that god truly truly is near to the brokenhearted i am actually one who has suffered the loss within the last three years of my father and so I'm so excited to pray Psalms 34 and these specific verses over our prayer requests today that God will come through for you and me in our season of brokenheartedness and that God will help us. So don't forget, post your prayer requests under this video and we will be praying for you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, now we come to apply the scripture over these prayer requests and thanking you for answering and hearing and healing relationships and removing bad habits so that we can rejoice for what you're doing for sister Shirley Cypress. Thank you for how you're going to restore the two first cousins, Brent Blue and Swain Scotts from fighting each other. How you're going to give an apartment and housing to her son and have employed. Thank you, God, for healing relationships for Sister BJ Stanford and believing that you're hearing her prayers. You're hearing them for the Wegar family and the Kennedy family, the Bates family, oh God, who are currently grieving the loss. God, that you're doing it for Sister Brenda Clark in the name of Jesus. You're covering her children, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren, the unhoused, the incarcerated, and the sick and shedding. And you're also being with the workers, as they get ready for this awesome revival, getting ready to start very soon. Lord, we're praying for Sister Vidi Stewart and her mother, Sister Martha Stewart, and the entire Stewart family by the power of the Holy Spirit. God, we believe you to do a great thing for Sister Portia Perkins and the McCarter family. We pray for and against burnout in ministry, God, for big decisions and traveling mercies for those who've traveled during this spring break season, but specifically for the McCarter family and the big decisions that are coming soon. Lord, we continue to pray for Brother Victor Singleton in the name of Jesus, that you would bring about a healing and that you would help those who help him. God, we continue to lift up Sister Christy 
E and her husband, who's being bullied on the job, that you will give him job security and emotional God security. Lord, we also believe for the August family who is grieving the loss of an aunt. This is Brother Philip's aunt from his father's side. We ask God that you would be there for that family, as well as for Brother Hillary Hurd's friend and Sister Brenda Stewart, who have taken their stand to go into water baptism, that you will walk with them and guide them. Also, I pray for our prayer ministry leaders, Mom, in the name of Jesus, that you would cover her health and that you would be specifically with our leader and the issues that she faces each day. God, we continue to pray for the Singh family, the Proche family, and all the other requests that have been lifted up to you during this time of prayer and fasting. In addition to the Landry family, the sick and shut in, God. Our prayers and our fasting that will be blessing unto you. And God, we ask that you will cover the bereaved all over the land. Lord, we know that we won't be spiritually healthy if we only think we should work out on one day, which is the Sabbath. Lord, thank you for this daily scriptures, this daily prayer, this daily fasting, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7 to 12, to remind us that we continuously, if we want to grow financially and change our posture, if we want to have prayers and concerns for those who are grieving, we must do it on a consistent basis. All by the power of the Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless you. And we'll continue to be praying for you.